Well, Action News reporter John Paul joining us now live from Chopper 6 with more on what you need to know if you ever end up facing a flash flooding situation like this. John. First things first, Gray Shar, I want to stress the family didn't do anything wrong in this situation. You heard it from officials during the news conference. They were caught in a flash flooding situation. The water just rising up all around them. And I want to show you the power of that water. We're going to switch over here to the camera and you can see the bridge or what's left of it here. I mean, that's what the water did. It lifted up pieces of pavement. It wrecked the guardrails. It picked up cars and threw them. And this happened so fast. In a matter of seconds, this all happened as that rain was coming down torrentially. So that made us wonder, what do you do in a situation when the water is rising around you? The search continued for a third day for nine-month-old Conrad Shields and his two-year-old sister, Maddie. The children were swept away in floodwaters in Upper Makefield Township, Bucks County, on Saturday. According to officials, the waters rose around the family vehicle with six people inside during flash flooding in the Washington Crossing area on Route 532. As they tried to escape, the waters swept away the grandmother, mother, and two youngest children. The father and four-year-old son were able to get to safety. The grandmother was later found alive. So what should you do if you find yourself in a similar situation? Experts say the first thing is to try to stay calm. It's very hard to have a clear head. Even if you know what to do uh, ahead of time, uh, it's hard to remember in the moment. Make sure to roll down your window right away because the doors will be difficult to open in rising water. Take off your seatbelt so you don't get stuck in the car and then it's time to make a decision. There isn't a right answer and it depends. Uh, there are going to be times when it's, if it's safe for you to get away from your car and you can see higher ground that's safe to, to do that. And there'll be times when if it's just a raging river and you're going to get swept away, try to stay with the car and, and uh, hope, hope to be rescued. The only sure way to protect yourself is not to get into a situation like this. Steer clear of areas with flash flood warnings and stay home during severe weather because life-threatening situations happen fast. Things are fast moving, so they may not even have realized it was happening until it happens. So it's just important to heed the kind of weather reports and do what you can and be diligent. All right, back out here live uh, in Chopper 6 over Upper Makefield Township. When we see some crews down below, uh, they are working right now. Uh, we noticed they've been trying to clear some debris. They've also been uh, trying to, uh, you know, fix some of the roads. This is River Road, what you're looking at right here. Uh, we've seen some crews going in and out as the search continues now for little Conrad and Maddie. Three days that they have been missing. Uh, the family you heard from in that news conference, uh, the family spokesperson just devastated, but thanking everyone for the thoughts and uh, prayers. As we are back out here live, we will keep an eye on the uh, recovery operation as it unfolds. Live in Chopper 6 over Upper Mayfield Township, John Paul, Channel 6 Action News. Great. Uh, thoughts go out to the families impacted. John, thank you.